expect Lamont to get this last playoff. I'm not sure. It's just none now 15 seconds left to go in the third quarter. As it looks like they will get it off. This should be the last play in the third quarter. Peek to Moncree. Moncree gets maybe a yard. They're gonna give him a they're gonna give him a yard and a half maybe. So it makes it second down about nine. Going into the third quarter. Okay, we're back. We begin the fourth quarter. Chad Peak on a second down about nine. And Wesley Graham's wide open. Takes the first down. As we both say it. <laughs> the defensive player was either number two, Horace Brooks, or number 24, Marcus Turnbull. I couldn't tell. I was too excited about the play. Excellent pass. Caught the defense off guard. Open out in the flat. Good job. Yes, you can't, you can't, you know, overlook the great catch by Wesley Graham either. Excellent. Go, First down, Tim. Right go, on the 40-yard line of Tuskegee. Moncrief go, go, goes through the go, hole for about six yards. A nice little hole for Moncrief. As Prattville is not playing with Tuskegee anymore. This is do or die time. Moncrief throughout the games, constantly, always pumping his legs, always getting an extra couple of yards. Second effort always helps. Yes, as these college prospects are going to be looking for that when they're looking for a great runner. And let's hope they won't overlook Derek Moncrief as it's going to be a second down to five situation for Prattville. As Alex Ronson gets the call, and he's brought down by number 57, Silas Kennedy. For about a four-yard loss, it's going to bring up third and nine. Prattville needs to bring some offense. The 10 minutes and 45 seconds left in this football game, at least in regulation, it's third and about nine. Let's see what Prattville does. She might be looking for the pass. Watch out. As a heavy rush by number 70, which is not on our roster. Another one. That's two of them now. It's going to be a fourth down situation. Let's see what Prattville does. Looks like Prattville is going to go for it on fourth down and nine. Yeah. As Tosh and Eva will not be able to get the kick. Chad Peak comes up to line. A two or die situation here for Prattville. As Peak drops way back. The screen to Derek Mockery. He's going to get the first down. He may go. He may go as a flag on a play. But he gets down to the 27-yard line. If that's called a clip. Let's see what the call is. As Tuskegee's player is down, that might be the player that was against the penalty. As the Prattville players and fans did not agree that it was a penalty. And Derek Moncrief is also hurt on the play. As there is double trouble here in Tuskegee, as we'll be right back. There is controversy here, and there's a, some kind of penalty on Prattville. I don't understand. There's 10-10 left in this football game, as Prattville now will have to punt. As Prattville apparently had the first down with the Derek Moncrief run, and then there seemed to be a, a clean block to me by the uh, Prattville Lions on number 25 of Tuskegee. And Tuskegee, number 25, went down, was hurt, and they called a penalty. And there was also, we have just found out, an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the line. So that would have taken the ball back anyway. As there's no balls to play with. Let's see.
Peek the punt from his own 22 yard line. Peek with a beautiful punt. The try is number 85 deep. And he fumbles it! And Preble looks like they've recovered the ball. And Preble does that. That's a great break. Let's see. Let's see what the position is. Well, Tuskegee's got the ball, but great hustle by Prattville. As Prattville, the fans here for Prattville think that Prattville recovered the ball. As there's, there's, very, there's been many controversial plays, but of course, as Ricky Osick said earlier, the fish is closer than we are from the play. You can clearly see the Prattville guy on top of the ball. Pathetic call by the referees. Okay, and 9.40 now left in this football game. Tuskegee is going try by the drive. And it's incomplete to number two, Forrest Brooks. Second down, 10. Second down, 10. Nine and a half minutes left to go in the game. Twenty-three goes back to pass. He's looking for a horse. Brooks open, and it's intercepted by Rico Betty. And if they call an interference on that, let's see. Oh, Tuskegee gets possession. I don't. I don't believe that. That. That was clearly an interception. Unless the receiver took the ball away from Rico. That that that's very kind that's about five or six controversial plays we've had this half. Don't do that shit. Twenty-three gets close to the first down. And Chuck Pearson was the ball carrier. Excuse me, make that Marcus Turnbull. It's going to be a second down at about, about four. There's a penalty on the play. It looks like it's going to be a legal procedure on Tuskegee. Let's see, the call, Let's see if they make the correct call this time. As Derek Moncrief is now running on his feet, I mean on his injured legs, so it looks like he's going to be okay. He's going to be back in the ball game. As Rodney Spencer's out of the ball game. Looks like with a hurt knee. And now, it's going to be a second down and 12. No, excuse me, 8. It's underthrown. Poor pass by Fred Rogers, the quarterback. And the intended receiver once more is Derek Roberts. It was a good play, but the quarterback didn't execute it properly. It could have been some pretty good yards for the Tigers. Yes, his practical defense has been is being strung out everywhere, like ants. They're being they're getting a little upset over the calls. It's probably affecting their play on the field. Yes, you're probably right. It's gonna be third down and eight now. The practical can hold here. This could be a big lift. See, Rogers takes snap, drops back. Looking for 85. It's not completed, and Willie Smith was on the defense as Derek Roberts was the intended receiver. It's going to bring up the fourth down and eight. So there's a flag on the play once more. It's going to be on Tuskegee, it looks like. And I don't know, Prattville might want to decline this penalty. Do you think Prattville should decline this penalty on a fourth down and eight situation now? 
I decline so he can get the ball back. With the offense that Tuskegee's been running now, he can't risk it. Yeah, but, you know, Tuskegee, they might they might end up going for it, so. It looks like uh, Pratt will decline the penalty. That's right, so it's going to be fourth down and eight, and the punting unit will come on for Tuskegee. As this has been a wild and woolly football game, as this is an area of football game for Prattville, if Prattville can win two of their three area of football games, they go to the playoffs. Third down, uh, fourth down and eight. This is a big play in this ball game. Elijah's riding on this. If Prattville can block this punt. As this punt's going in, nope. Anderson fumbles the ball and picks it up. And gets to about the... There's a penalty flag on the play, and Anderson will get up to around the 25, 30-yard line. Let's see. But there's a flag on the play. Let's see what the call is on the flag. It might have been a clip, hold, anything's possible with these refs. Might have been a late hit or anything. What do you think? Might be a late hit, but we'll have to see how they call it, knowing the way things have gone this last few minutes. Yes, it's very strange how the referees have called it. It looks like it's going to be Tuskegee. That's about the fourth, only, only fourth penalty, I think, that Tuskegee's gotten this game. If this, if that, if this penalty stands, was, was this a penalty on Prattville? Offsetting penalties, personal fouls both ways. I, I don't see where they call it. Well, we might be able to see it on a replay. And so Tuskegee, I guess, will punt once more, and it's gonna it's gonna send in John Kenny once more, Tuskegee for the punt. Now Prattville can hold on to the to the ball instead of dropping the balls, as there are two deep backs right now are very careless with the balls tonight. As 82 punts the ball. Not as good of a punt. Alger Rawlinson. As the Tuskegee Tigers down the ball on the Pratt field. Looks like about the 5 10 yard line. I can't really tell from this angle. There's just seven minutes and 40 seconds left in this, and counting left in this football game, as this has been a tight game. It looked like Prattville was gonna blow this open early, but Prattville has not done anything ever since. First down 10, Prattville. Derek Moncrief is the ball carrier, and he'll get about five. So Derek Moncrief is back in the game already. J.J. Stoudemire goes out for the Lions. This is going to be a second and five situation for the Prattville Lions. Let's see what Prattville can come up with. Just hand it out to Moncrief. Gain about one or two for the Prattville Lions. The Prattville Lions are making plays that they know that they're not going to score, but I mean make good yardage on them, but they're, they're wanting to make yardage on them, so they're trying to make those plays work. The Lions have got to get a few first downs here, or Tuskegee's going to have some more time on the clock than they need. Yes, Prattville has to waste as much time as they can, and hopefully get down and make a touchdown to really put Tuskegee's backs against the wall. So it's going to be a third down, third down in about four situation. As it looks like it's going to be a penalty on Tuskegee. Let's see. Yes, offsides on Tuskegee, and that's going to be a big break. It gets break with their first down without even taking a snap. Wait, there might be offset, offsetting penalties. You never know. <laughs> So it's going to be on Tuskegee, as I said. It's first down on 10 for Prattville on the 25-yard line. The officials call a timeout. 
So, there's controversy. As Brett Wills, Algie Rawlinson carries the ball for about a uh, five yard gain. It's going to make it second and five. Brett Wills on the 30 yard line. With just five minutes and 45 seconds left in this football game, the Prattville can make couple more first downs, this game might be over, but it's never over till it's over, like Yogi Berra said. You need to make sure they don't turn the ball over. There, Moncrief finds an opening. Only one man to beat. And he's tackled down around the 48, 49-yard line. 48-yard line is where they mark it. So that might put Prattville over the edge to have the desire to put another touchdown on the board. First down team for the Lions. As one of the parts that why well, Pratt was not as pumped up as tonight because the band's not here, the cheerleaders not here, and not many students section, you know, is here because you know it's, it's a very dangerous town and it's pretty far away. Henderson gets the carry and he'll get seven yards. And there's a flag and there's probably going to be a late hit on the on the play and that should be on number 90, Cephas Holmes. So Brattwell starts the amount of drive, and if, if they can put a drive out on the board, this game is over with. Personal foul gets Tuskegee here. Yep, as I said earlier. So that's going to take off 15 more. That's going to bring the ball to the 30-yard line of Tuskegee. So if Prattville cannot score a touchdown, they can rely on Tosh Hamble to put a chip shot in to make it 18-8, a 10-point game. That's going to force Tuskegee to score twice which is going to be unlikely because there's only five minutes and eight seconds left to go in this football game. Looks like we're in pretty good shape here. They just have to be careful. Touchdown! As Prattville will come to the line with five minutes in the game left. Moncrief gets four yards. It's going to be second and six now. They're going to give him three, so it's going to be second and seven. Get him You've got to beat him now. <laughs> Four and a half minutes now left in this football game. Brattville is on the move on the 26-yard line. It's going to be a second down and six yard, six back pass. And Wesley Graham almost caught the ball. That would have that would have been close for a touchdown. Wesley Graham just didn't catch that ball. It was in grass. Yeah, he didn't concentrate enough. Should have been a pretty easy catch. Yeah, that's about twice I can remember he hasn't concentrated, as you said. And that, that was a big play. That could have boosted Prattville to the big lead. Now Prattville's stuck with a third down. A six. As you can hear, the rumble tumble of the stands. Third down, six. Big play in this football game. And now Jeronson is short by about a yard, it looks like. So they might have to bring in Tosh Shaneville. And Tosh Shaneville is going to come in for the Lions. As if Shaneville makes it, it'll be a 40 yard attempt. With three, four minutes now and counting in the football game. If Prattville can put this in. It's almost, it's just almost unre un it's, it's going to be unreasonable for Prattville to get beat by this Tuskegee football team. See how Shannonville does it. He made a 51-yarder last week. This should be relatively easy for him. Make that a 52-yarder, and Shannonville set to kick. He's having, he's having problems earlier tonight on kickoffs, and there's a, a timeout called on Prattville's side. It looked like Prattville was trying to pull Tuskegee off, off I mean, on offside, so we'll take a break. Attempt of Todd Shannonville to kick a 40 yarder. Three and a half minutes left to play in this football game. This could seal it for Prattville. Shannonville puts this through the uprights. It's a high snap. 
as Pink Sports throw it, and it's intercepted by number 85. Derek Roberts, but there's a flag on the, there's gonna be a play, flag on the play, it might be roughing the passer as Ricky said. As you saw, Shannonville's block to give Shad Peak a chance to throw the ball, as that was a very dumb move. Very dumb. Woo, very dumb! <laughs> as Shannon wants me to tell, everybody has a technical difficulty. As let's see what the call is. I think it's roughing on the passer. What do you think, Rick? That's what the referee called. Should be give, pen, uh, give Pravel a first down here. And it was a high snap, and Peak wouldn't have been able to get it down in time, so he had to get up and try for a pass. And Wesley Graham almost had it. It was just pass is too high a little bit, just a little bit, I think. It might, might not have been. Just three and a half minutes now left. As they're going to mark off the penalty, it's going to be a first down for Prattville. It was just three and a half minutes, like I said earlier. And the ball will be placed on Tuskegee's 10-yard line. We're in the middle of this big, rowdy crowd from Prattville. 15-8 Prattville. As there's going to be another timeout called for Prattville. So we'll be right back after these messages. Down and goal from the Prattville Lions. With just three and a half minutes left to play. Exactly three and 25 left to play. But this has been a pretty exciting and unusual football game. There's been much controversy on a lot of calls by the officials and ball marks and even disagreements between the crowds. And Peak pitches out to Azra Ronson. Ronson will have four yards, but there's going to be penalty flags on the play, and it looks like it's going to be on Prattville. Because there's two flags on the play. It's going to be on Tuskegee, it looks like. No, it's on Prattville. Was that holding for Prattville? Illegal block. It was an illegal block. As Prattville is not clicking at all tonight. That's going to bring them back to their own 30-yard line. Second down and goal from the 30. As they bring the ball back 20 yards for an illegal block, which is highly unusual. Prattville had the ball first and goal on the 10. Now it's first and goal from the 30. Unusual. Hand off to Moncrief. Gets about four. This is going to be second down and goal from the 26 yard line. And there's another flag on the play. That's Penalties are killing Pratt the other night. So now from the 27, that's going to pull them down even further. Procedure called against the Prattville Lions. It's going to be first and goal from the 35 yard line. Chappie, the keeper, now decides to pitch it to Ronson and he fumbles it, but it's going to be out of bounds. And number 57 did a desperation dive. That was Darren Bryant. Just for looks.
Now, since Preble didn't gain much yardage, there's no penalty. Shaneville is warming up on the sideline. They may call on him in a minute to kick another field goal. So I'm sure they will because it's the second down and long. As the coaches are fired up, very angry at the officials calling tonight. As the prep loses, there might be a protest. Okay. Hey, here we go. 248 left in this football game. At least this, this drive is wasting time. Second down and go. Chad Peak looks for West LeGrand. And it looks like they're just going to go, you know, get short yards just to get an easier kick for Todd Shanneville. Looks, looks like what they're going to. I doubt they'll make a first down this play. No, they can't get a first down. They got a touchdown. Third and goal. It's just they 220. Get a first down just inside the one if they, if they got close. Yes, but that's, I mean, that's one out of how many chances. And that looks like they're just going to try to run it, just get a little closer, hopefully even get a touchdown if it happens, but it's unlikely. Like I said, they just want to run it. So it looks like Shannonville will be coming out for the attempt, and that's what it is. This is the second attempt of the football game, and this was this kick will be not as far. It's going to be a... Well, yes, it is. It's going to be a 40, looks like a 42, 41, 42 yard line, 41, 41. which is pretty impressive for a high schooler. So it's just a minute and 37 seconds left. So there's almost no hope if this field goal goes through the uprights. As this is, this is going to be the crucial kick of the game. This could win it or lose it. Shannonville, the kick is good. 41-yard field goal by Shanneville. One twenty left in this football game, and it's 18-8 Prattville. Beautiful kickoff. I mean, excuse me, beautiful field goal. And so he will also be kicking off the lines. Now, most of these fans for Tuskegee walk on in disappointment as Prattville is... Going to win this football game with just a minute 20. Your thoughts about the football game, Rick? Uh, sloppy game, penalties and all, but overall, Prattville looked pretty good. Yes, uh, you put it right. As you look at, as you take a look at the uprights on the south end, it looks like they're lopsided, doesn't it? As it looks like they might be trying to get some kind of advantage. Let's see if Shannonville will put this one through the end zone. Okay, Shannonville now will prepare to kick off. As it looks like we're going to make this game, all, you know, get through this game after all. Because I would have never thought after that third quarter disaster by Prattville that this game was ever going to be finished. It just seemed for hours. Shannonville with the kick. Deep. He'll return it from his own one-yard line. Number 85, that is. And he gets to the 21-yard line. A pretty good uh, rack with a run by Roberts. And there is another flag on the play. It was Yeah. He didn't have that right angle off. He's got to be lined up with it. <laughs> As I see what the penalty flag is about. Just a minute 12 left to go in this football game. And it's a Tuskegee penalty. Oh, what do you know? As I guess it's not going to hurt them now because it's so late in the ball game they can't win anyway. And now let's let's uh, get some comments with our uh, companions. First, our statistician, Judge King. What do you think of the ball game? Well, so far this ball game has been a pretty interesting one. There's been a lot of penalties, and there's been a lot of booing against the refs, but you have to realize out there on the field, it's a very hard job with all those players. And as, as for the stats, we try to keep them in the first half, but it's very difficult to keep on this field. Okay, back to the action. Just a minute left to go. It's going to be a bomb. It is. There's going to be an interference. Uh, 
Willie Smith. Hey, hey ref, you're kind of late there. As they are very, very disappointed here on the, on, on the Prattville side. Final comments by you, Rick. Well, game of controversial call. Prattville uh, sust managed to sustain a couple drives, helped them pull it out. Hopefully, uh, they won't look this bad in some of the other games, but they they had a decent game. Yeah, I think they got more potential than they're showing. They, they just weren't ready. They weren't. I mean, they were they weren't mentally ready for this game. They they weren't up because you know they didn't think it'd be that big of a challenge as as you say, a just in the year or a league. Uh, a lot of it that going back to the officials' call, they took away some of the momentum that Pravel had and just helped Tuskegee a little bit more. Yes, as a long bomb. Willis, Orlando Willis, with the interception. That's going to seal this win. All right. Final comments by Kyle Shanneville, our cameraman. This is a terrific game, but uh, I, I don't think the refs has called uh, as good game as they should have. And uh, Prival played real good, but the refs, they, they didn't play a good game at all. Okay. Just 49 seconds left in this football game. We'll just let you listen to the, one of the greats. Of the, the final 49 seconds of a great game. We'll be back next week with Selma.